Hello everybody, today I will show you how to hook up multiple um, LEDs to one um, one input in the Arduino. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, going to use uh, the three ground pins which are in the Arduino. There's one here, that's one ground. There's uh, another ground on the bottom. There's two grounds on the bottom and there's one ground near pin 13. So I'm not going to I'm just going to use one pin to power all three instead of using three ground pins. The way we could do that is uh just like this. Um I'm going to put in the first um LED. So I'm going to put it in this way, the long leg on the left side and the short leg which is negative on the right side. So I'm going to put it here, the first one, then I'm going to um, put this pin into pin 13 in the Arduino, in there. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pin here with the positive longer side sticking out right next to it just like that and then I'm going to put this pin because all the columns are connected and this if after you pass this line right here it's not connected so I'm gonna put the resistor on the other side so this one I'm gonna connect to pin 12 for that LED and for this LED will be the same the long side the positive on the left I'm going to put that pin in the positive side and um, check. Right here, the positive side will go in to pin 10 in here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the resistors in. So this resistor will go in the same column as the negative part, the shorter side. And put it right across that line. And I'm going to do the same for the other one, for the shorter leg. for the red LED as well. Okay, and also for the green LED. The negative side, the shorter side for the green LED as well. So the resistors are connected across this line. So they're not connected. So instead of doing it horizontally, like putting the resistor here, I'm putting it vertically. And the next thing is I'm going to get the negative part right here. You see this negative part? I'm going to take this pin and I'm going to put it into the ground part of the Ar Arduino. So. So that's right on top of pin 13. That's where the ground pin is. Or you could use any ground pin. You could use the ground pin on the bottom as well if you want. Doesn't matter. And now it's connected. So this part is negative for the resistor and this will go on the negative 
here could go in any of any part of this row right here they're all connected all the negatives so this part goes here and this part goes make sure you don't put it in the positive then it won't work just like that okay now it's connected so I already wrote the code for it so it should just light up all of them should just light up so let me see what I wrote for the code and I'll explain it I'll show it to you better on the computer screen Okay, so the code is right there. I think it would be better if I get a screen capture for it. But the code is right there, so that's what it's doing right now. So it's... Uh, so the red pin I call NLED, that goes high for five seconds and it shuts off and then the next pin is number 12 that is um, I'm sorry and LED is yellow the one on the far left the one in the middle is red that would be pin 12 and the green one is pin 11 So the first pin is going to be on for 5 seconds, that's the yellow one, and then it shuts off for 1 second, and then the next pin is pin 12, that's the red LED that turns on for 5 seconds and it shuts off for 2 seconds. And then the next pin is the green LED that shuts on for three seconds. It's on high for three seconds and it's off for half a second. And then the red LED is on for one second and it's off for three seconds. The green LED is off on for eight seconds and off for eight seconds. So that's how it's sequencing. So that's how you hook up a um, that's how you hook up multiple pins. So if you want to use let's say ten pins and put LEDs in it, this is the way you would do it. Or if you want to put like 10 fans in here or whatever you could do that but if you want to hook up like larger devices like let's say uh, a refrigerator you want to automate a power supply to turn on a refrigerator you would need a a relay module this video isn't about that this video is just showing you how to hook up uh, multiple um, things devices on a breadboard in conjunction to your Arduino Uno unit so that's what this video is about so I'm gonna get to the code next okay this is the code that um, I use for my um, breadboard so I declared uh, an LED as the yellow LED. That's the one on pin 13. And I declared uh, 
our LED, that's a red LED, that's on pin 12, and GLED is um, in pin 11, pin 11, and I declared that is GLED 11. So the pin mode, the red is, that's an output, and pin mode. GLED, that's an output green LED, and pin mode, that's a yellow um, LED. And in here, I just put the digital right, and LED is high, as I as it was shown. And uh, red LED is high for five seconds, and then it turns off for two seconds and the green LED is high for three seconds and and the green LED is low for half a second the digital right for the red LED is high for one second and red LED is off for three seconds and green LED is high for eight seconds and green LED is low for eight seconds now I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to put it, they're all going to light up. So no delays. Oops, I screwed up here. They're all just going to light up. I screwed up here. It's not N, so red. I'm missing red. Okay, now they're all lit up. So they should all be lit, lit up. Okay, thanks for watching. My Ace 1000KS 1975 signing out.